Time now for the morning rush. State prosecutors are one step closer this morning to charging actor Alec Baldwin again. In a statement yesterday, prosecutors said that the further investigation in the case has now uncovered information that they believe shows Baldwin has criminal culpability. That's in the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins and the shooting of director Joel Souza. The prosecutors hope to present the case to a grand jury within the next two months. Investigators are still working to determine if a deadly police shooting in Las Cruces was justified. On October 3rd, a Las Cruces police officer approached Teresa Gomez and Jesus Garcia outside of a housing complex near Las Cruces High School. Gomez refused to get out of the driver's seat and began driving away when the officer shot at the car, killing her. A local high school, high school volleyball team is now raising funds for two of their players seriously hurt in a crash when police say that their car was hit by street racers earlier this month. Freshman Alana Hamilton and Sawyer Bennett are recovering in the hospital from major injuries it's while Hamilton's mother died in the crash. Now the only surviving driver in the incident, Andy Torres de Salmel, is facing two counts of vehicular homicide. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. It's a chilly morning, 50 degrees out there, so layer up. It's going to be a warm afternoon again with highs up to 83 degrees and sunshine. New Mexico political leaders are responding to Texas Governor Greg Abbott's decision to place fencing along the state line near El Paso and Sunland Park. Earlier this month, Abbott announced the placement of razor wire fencing along Texas and the New Mexico state line. The two states Democratic parties released a statement condemning Abbott for, quote, infringing upon Texans and New Mexicans' right to move freely across state lines. Traffic on I-40 is moving again this morning after it was shut down for several hours after a crash. The miles-long backup started around 11 yesterday morning and ended at 3.30 in the afternoon. The last word, Juan Bo's eastbound ramps remain closed for now. A unique apartment complex made for helping those with hearing problems is officially opening its doors. The PA Highland Plaza is a four-story, 92-unit affordable housing complex with features specifically designed for the deaf and deaf and blind and hard of hearing community. The ribbon cutting event will begin at the complex this afternoon at four. Erica. Here's a check on our threat index. It is low today. We will see some higher winds up to 40 miles per hour in the eastern plains as a cold front moves in. The University of New Mexico is working to make health care more accessible for the homeless. UNM started its Center for Inclusive Health this year. That program offers medical assistance to people at homeless camps across Albuquerque. Services range from checkups to pregnancy screenings and treatments for common infections. Sun County Airlines announced yesterday they will offer seasonal nonstop service between Albuquerque and Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport. That's starting in June 2024. The expansion is part of the airline service to eight new domestic cities and two Canadian destinations. Erica. All right, a check on traffic. Maps are clear, no accidents or slowdowns to report. And here's a live look over the big eye. Things are starting to slow down there at the big intersection. We will let you know as traffic picks up even more. If you miss Saturday's annular eclipse, you might have a chance to see the next total solar eclipse in the air. Southwest Airlines says they have three flights during the next eclipse that will give their customers the best view. All three flights follow along the projected path of the eclipse, which will cross the country on April 8th. Time now for the five facts. At number five this morning, travelers will soon have a new option. That's when traveling out of the Albuquerque International Sunport. Sun County Airlines announced yesterday that they're going to be offering seasonal nonstop service between Albuquerque and Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport. That's starting in June of next year. While well, the expansion is part of the airline service to eight new domestic cities and two Canadian destinations. For more information, you can head to our website that's always on KRQE.com. And number four, a local high school volleyball team is raising funds for two of their players seriously hurt when police say their car was hit by street racers earlier this month. Alana Hamilton and Sawyer Bennett are freshmen on Sandia High School's C-Team volleyball squad. Hamilton's mother was driving with two players inside when APD says two other cars were racing down Louisiana and slammed into their car. Both Hamilton and Bennett are recovering in the hospital from major injuries. Hamilton's mother died in the crash. And number three, it is going to be a warm and dry day. Temperatures will be hitting the 70s and 80s across the state. We'll cool a couple of degrees tomorrow. And number two, four people have been convicted in a federal terrorism conspiracy case linked to a compound near Taos. Agents raided the compound in 2018, finding guns, ammo, 11 malnourished children, and the remains of a three-year-old boy. Two suspects, Siraj Wahaj and Lucas Morton, were found guilty on all counts. 
including conspiracy to provide material support to terrorists and conspiracy to commit murder. Two others, Sabana Wahaj and Hujrah Wahaj, were convicted on charges tied to kidnapping. Prosecutors declined to discuss the group's leader, Janie Laville, who had struck a plea deal before it was revoked. And at number one, state prosecutors are one step closer this morning to charging actor Alec Baldwin again. This is in the 2021 shooting death of a cinematographer on the set of the movie Rust. Special prosecutors have announced that they now plan to present a case to the Santa Fe grand jury. That jury will then decide if there's enough probable cause to criminally charge Baldwin. In a statement yesterday, the prosecutors believe that additional facts show that Baldwin has criminal culpability in the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins and the shooting of director Joel Sousa.